Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomus coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Titans Return Leader Class Soundwave with Sound Blaster. For the package, you got this really nice open window display that fully showcases the figure as well as his accessories. And you got some nice art right here with actually Sound Blaster detaching from Soundwave as well as the Transformers text and logo up there on the top. Uh, on the side here, you just got a larger image of that Soundwave image that we have here on the front. You got the little Autobot comet. On the back of the box, you got that cross-play pattern kind of the advertisement where you can take Ape Face and you can put him on Soundwave if you want. Or put Sound Blaster on Mind Wipe, Alpha Trion, or even Blaster. And it says, there is a master of cyber infiltration. He drops a backdoor code into the system of any bot he unites with, giving Soundwave a way in. With that access, Soundwave raids their processors completely undetected and steals a constant stream of information. And then as you can see, he's got his robot mode, his uh, tape deck mode, and then he also has a city mode. As you can see, this is a repaint and retool of that leader class blaster that we got in wave one. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it for him. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. Alright guys, so here we have the Leader Class Soundwave open up and out of his packaging. And what you have is a, basically a retooled version of the Leader Class Blaster that we got from Wave 1. Obviously given a little bit more of a different, more kind of modern stereo, I, I guess you would say, instead of, you know, Blaster, which had a bit more of that 80s boombox kind of look. This has a little bit more of a more modern kind of look and feel. But it also does nicely homage some of those original elements that Soundwave had, such as here in the uh, the lower section, which will be the crotch piece in his robot mode, you can see that he's got those nice, you know, play button, rewind button, things like that. Uh, so I do really appreciate that. You got some nice gold here around the actual clear section on his uh, tape deck chest mode. You got a nice Decepticon logo right there. And then again, you got some really nice uh, silver paint kind of going on here for what are essentially his speakers. And this is where you're seeing a lot of the remolded parts. Uh, now, just doing it to get it out of the way, for a comparison, here's Soundwave. And here's that Leader Class Blaster. And again, right up front, you're going to notice the big difference with the speakers. Robot mode kind of sports some, you know, remolded parts as well. When you look like down here, these are the front of Blaster's legs, whereas Soundwave's have that nice, you know, more sound wavy kind of look. But that, you know, shows up a lot more in the actual robot mode, and we'll take a look at that. But you can see that the uh, little chest piece is also different. This has that more Blaster-esque kind of look and feel. That's been totally remolded here for the new Soundwave figure. And then uh, down here, the crotch piece right here has been redone you can see this just has this little black and some lines and then this has the little like i said button kind of thing here and then the little flaps that uh, make up like the rewind button right here are molded in differently from what you have with these uh, flaps that are actually on blaster uh, predominantly though that's the biggest difference is here in you know alt mode i guess uh, you can run here to the back and you can see that uh, basically the back is all exactly the same there are some different paint details obviously but uh soundwave does come as the exact same gun that blaster does which is kind of unfortunate because while this is a great blaster gun this doesn't work all that well for Soundwave. it's a nice looking gun do not get me wrong it just really doesn't fit with Soundwave. Uh, i i don't think it definitely has a, a much cooler you know, blaster kind of feel and obviously the blaster one nicely homages that original g1 blaster so it would have been nice to get something a little bit more different you know sound wave uh, you do get the little uh, shoulder cannon that can plug right here on the very back you got a little hole right there and then you got that little post that uh, blaster had as well and then blaster also has the little post up on his shoulder that Soundwave also had so you obviously you can put that there but you got some nice molded in um, missile detail on the inside there you got these little red stripes so it's nice that they included a little bit extra of a kind of weapon for them that you know, obviously makes them look more like Soundwave. i just fairly disappointed in the reuse of that gun that's something that i wish that they actually changed uh, they both come with the little drone sort of thing uh, as you can see that is molded They're exactly the same you got some extra paint that uh, details on them you got some nice silver on blasters the words this is just that kind of grayish kind of color and then uh, you come around and I, I don't believe i showed this in the blaster review because they don't actually show it in the instructions but blasters little that i for twin cast i don't remember what they actually call them uh, but he can actually tab in very securely to the bottom i was like i don't know really where you can put them when he's in alt mode you can actually peg him in there perfectly fine and you can see that it's still 
is uh, nice and flat so you can take it and you can still slide it in there and you still close that. For a sound blaster here, uh, one thing that uh, I will say is that, the, but they did give him a more, you know, sound wave-y kind of head. Obviously, when you transform him, you got that a larger sound wave kind of look, which looks really cool. But uh, coming in to take a little bit closer of a look, and the arms and the legs that's all the same sound blaster here has some nice silver paint on his legs but you can see that the head is completely different whereas twin cast here has that obvious blaster look and uh, sound blaster here has that more sound wave kind of look uh, i do kind of wish that this was painted all black uh it is supposed to be sound blaster and sound blaster was all black black in the japanese series um i i don't think that hasbro really was gonna do that i know that the car probably will i mean the sound blaster was more of a japanese character so it makes sense but me for a collector i would probably prefer just like an all black representation but as just a regular retail toy this is actually pretty good and then you transform them by just rotating them down and there you have soundwave's head i love how you got like this little tech detail across the top like his brain is exposed but really big yellow eyes you got some nice silver for his visor people are asking if you can actually detach his head or the eyes to be able to paint the eyes red because this is something that some people like some people don't some people like the yellow eyes on the figure some people like the red eyes on the figure uh, i don't think it really matters that much to me uh, i think it looks okay i would probably prefer red and it just has more of a cartoon accurate kind of thing but the yellow that you know the g1 toy had for example works pretty good with this so i do like that but like i said you got the little thing right here where you can just tuck his head kind of in that little groove bring that down and like i said that fits in there perfectly fine where you can then still slide that in and close that and you're all set uh, you can also use this as a little tiny uh, vehicle sort of thing you just take him and sit him right in there and or well no you probably wants to go the other way i would imagine he would want to go the way there there we go where you got the little guns sort of things here and that comes in handy in you know, the city mode for him obviously and then if you want to you got like these little posts right here you can take brawn why why would you take brawn i i have no idea but it's because he's standing right here so you can put that right there along the side and then he does have all those kind of posts elsewhere on the figure mostly again in his little city mode but you can take that and you can put that there if if you really wanted to and you can have them decapitated whatever but uh, overall a fairly solid looking thing i i am happy that they uh, decided to really remold him as extensively as they did it, it did come out looking a lot better than i thought it would and honestly i was like eh, it's just gonna be a, you know kind of blaster looking figure but uh, in all honesty I'm, I'm actually really impressed with how this turned out now like i talked about uh, he does have a city mode just like that blaster figure and that, as well as the transformation to the robot mode, are exactly the same as blasters. So, per usual, I am going to skip it, but if you do need any help whatsoever transforming them, my playlist is available with my review of the Transformers Leader Class Blaster, and you can check that out and get any help that you may potentially need. But I am going to go ahead and skip it, so right after these messages, we'll go from Soundwave looking like this... So looking like this and as you can see a lot of what you're looking at is just basically that leader class blaster there are some slight changes like for example to the landing pad area here that is a little bit different than what blasters was but overall really not that much i mean getting a little bit of a different angle there to kind of show you that it, it really doesn't change a heck of a lot the, the actual chest area here does kind of transform the same way Whereas this little middle piece though, is actually a little bit more difficult to get up because with Blaster, you could at least push through the bottom. The bottom section of the, the chest piece is all one piece. So you can't really push through. So you kind of have to wedge something in there to kind of get it out. Uh, you can see that these little bits right here have been remolded just as part of the actual, you know, remold for that portion of the legs here on Soundwave itself. Uh, obviously, he does come with this little cannon right here, which can plug into a post here or here. But pretty much everything else is the exact same. Uh, so kind of angling that off to the side and bringing in blaster you can see that uh, again not a lot really changes it basically has the same overall look i kind of think that sound wave looks a little bit better because of the coloring whereas this kind of drabish I, I don't even know what color you would call that i mean it, it's really not a very good looking color but it's just kind of plain i think the blue here on Soundwave just looks immeasurably better and actually do like it a little bit more. Now, one thing that I think does look a little bit better, though, honestly, is swapping these. Uh, I think this looks a little bit better 
with a blaster here because you got the yellow on there and this one with the silver i think looks a little bit better actually with sound wave so uh that's one thing that i actually like doing that color i think just kind of matches a little bit nicer um it, it's personal preference but like i said i think that this color tone kind of matches a little bit better with this brownish silver whatever color and then obviously the black i think just kind of meshes well with a uh, sound wave so uh, that that's really about it for the uh, the base mode as you can see you have a lot of play value you can have these little titan masters kind of running around you know doing their own little thing you know coming flying away <laughs> things like that oh we're gonna crash oh wow well, that's and then he just hangs here on the gun and, and all right that's ha, i don't know what i'm doing i'm just having fun people say that i don't have enough of a sense of humor there's a sense of humor for you um but city mode like i said i mean it, it, it's it's kind of additional and just kind of further enhances you know that play pattern uh with all these uh, smaller tight master figures which i think is cool i i, I do really really like it but now, like I said, uh, uh, transformations on these are the exact same. So once again, I am going to skip it, but I will reiterate that if you do need any help getting to his robot mode, my playlist with my Titans Return figures is available. So all you have to do is find the review for the Leader Class Blaster and you can get any instructions you may need. But right after these messages, we'll go from Soundwave looking like this to look like this, and there's a few steps left that we need to do. Uh, first, we're going to go ahead and attach his head, uh, much like all the other Titan Master figures. Again, you just fold it in half, just like so. You got the little head that serves as a post. Just come around here, you lock that into place right there, and then you come around here to the back section, you fold this out, much like blasters, and then you just fold this piece out, and then it comes around and it sits on his face, completing that uh, sound wave look. And then you can just take this and then you can collapse that back up. And then for the last piece, you got his little shoulder cannon. You got that little post right there I was talking about. You just plug that in right there. And there you have sound wave and yeah, uh, I'm actually really happy with how this looks. This is a much better uh, looking figure than I honestly thought that he was when I first saw pictures. Now the head does get a little bit big looking uh, and those really big yellow eyes kind of stand out. Uh, I mean, if you painted them red, it would probably look a little bit better to be totally honest with you, but uh, very kind of big head on it. You come around to the side, you can see that it does get fairly lengthy, but uh, obviously it's because you have to incorporate that little helmet kind of thing. And obviously he doesn't have the little front part like a uh, blaster had, but this guy really does look good. Now for a comparison, here he is. And here he is next to Blaster. And again, uh, a lot of those same elements that you saw in terms of uh, reused parts in the alt mode are here as well in the robot mode, uh, such as the arms. You got the shoulders that are the same. The forearms are the same. Hands are the same. Uh, one thing that I'm noticing, though, is Blaster's got this little, like, hole right here. It's plugged in there, so I, I, I don't know what the difference is. But you do have uh, the different kind of skirt pieces. The, uh, the center crotch piece is different. The front shin parts are also different. Uh, one thing that's also kind of interesting is the way that they did these thighs, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but you can kind of see that the little angle molded piece here kind of goes towards the outside here on Blaster, whereas Soundwaves goes on towards the inside. So it's like they just swapped them kind of, uh, and, and it looks like that's entirely possible because they are molded slightly different, but are just on reversed sides. So that's a little bit different, I guess. Uh, the feet are the same. They are uh, just painted differently. But in general, I mean, I, I, I really do like the way that this guy turned out. He is large. I mean, uh, he is a leader size figure. For a comparison, here he is next to a deluxe size figure, which, yeah, uh, you know, he is really, really large. And I think in general kind of stands out a little bit you know because of how big he is he he really does have more of a masterpiece sort of scale and like i talked about in my blaster review that blaster figure i think is a really nice stand-in for a masterpiece blaster unfortunately though we already have a pretty darn good masterpiece sound wave and actually when you look at it eh, he's a little bit taller but you can see they did a pretty decent job of kind of recreating some of those cues that the original Soundwave had. I mean, the head is spot on. You got the nice, you know, shoulder can. I kind of wish that those were painted red, but, you know, whatever. You got some nice tech detail on his shoulders. You got the blue for the upper part of the arm. The uh, forearms are a nice silver, or in this case, gray. I mean, everything does a really nice job of really capturing that Soundwave look. 
I just, like I said, I, I, for me, as great of a figure as he really actually is, I just don't honestly have any idea where I'm going to put him in my collection. Now, I think he's too big for classics, you know, which is kind of like the go-to sort of display in general, I guess. And you don't really need him in a masterpiece display because we already have a good one. So this is kind of another figure that, despite the fact that the actual figure is really good, I don't know where I'm going to put it in my collection. And unfortunately, I don't really feel he's good enough to replace something that's in my existing collection. Like, he's not good enough to replace my masterpiece. Now, as a leader size figure, I, I, I don't necessarily like him in my classics display either. So, I'm just all over the place. I, I, I really don't know what to do with him. He's a good looking figure. I do really like him. I think, uh, you know, for collectors, he's going to be a bit of a, you know, question mark. But I think kids will actually really like this guy. I mean, he, he does have a big feel to him. And he does look really very cool. So don't get me wrong. While, while I don't know where I'm going to put the guy, I am really happy with the figure just in general. So I guess depending on what your particular tastes are, you, know, you can have a good masterpiece figure if you didn't get one already or a really large sound wave for a classic display. Either way, he's a good toy. And if you have a place for him in your collection, I would absolutely recommend him. So if you'd like to add this to your collection, he is going to be hitting retail locations fairly soon. So good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the new Transformers Titans Return figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video to please like and share it. Also, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you never miss a future review of mine. And as always, until next time, I'll talk to you later. You're